Hi, this is Robin Moses and I'm here with Evil Client and we are going to be doing a Disney Tinkerbell and her sister Perry Winkle, Perry. And I have started out with Cabana Boy by Julie G. And I am adding on um, the ends in Angel White by Sation. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing Tinkerbell. And in the, in the picture, Tinkerbell is looking one way and her sister is looking the other. So I am going to put her head in like so. And she has a neck, yeah, unlike Betty Boop. And yeah, Betty, Betty Boop doesn't have a neck, does Nope. For many years, I did Betty, Betty Boop, and I could not figure out why it did not look right. And um, I figured this is the first time I've ever painted her sister. Yay, a newbie! On her clothing, I'm going to go ahead and put on her green dress so I can see exactly how big I'm going to make her sister. Sister's a little bit skinnier, or maybe it's just the way they're standing, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. As long as we get the colors right. So, her hair is her yellow. Is, her sister doesn't have any boobs. <laughs> That's the difference. Oh, right on. Sister doesn't have any boobs. And then I'm not going to make her any boobs. Evil client look. <coughs> Something's in my throat. I'm sorry. <coughs> Fairy does. It's <coughs> <laughs> a gift for all using all that glitter all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just coughed up a fairy. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Okay, so I still am not over. I'm having fairies on my yeah, I know nails for two weeks. <laughs> Did you almost say the F word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I said fairy. <laughs> the F word. <laughs> so her hair is kind of up and back and uh, kind of groovy. I like it. And it's big hair. She kind of has like a spiky. Yeah pixie thing going on she does she has a cute she has a cute look and her, the middle of her hair is like a bluish gray because she's an ice fairy so i'm gonna go down here let me let she's me, let me actually, scroll there we go she's actually my niece's favorite now oh she might be my favorite too let's see if she's easy to paint see this is still wet paint so i can like blob in whatever colors i want and hash them out. There we go. It's a little bit bigger than that. And her head is almost like an alien. It goes like that. Okay, so then I go back over to the other one, and we will put in Tink. Now, I've, I've painted Tink enough. <clears throat> so I'm going to go in with a lighter skin tone and give her her cheeks, her nose, her chin. And then put in her arms and back. Just the highlights. That. Okay. Now underneath, I'm going to go in with white. Highlight her hair with white and yellow. And her and her hair's always in disarray a little bit, so get it up there. And that. And then it goes down like this. Okay. And 
her mouth. Then how you make that smaller is you go back in with thin, 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 thin. Make that her upper lip, and then, and then, and then, and then I'm gonna use um, her eyes. Her eyes are a little bit rounder than Tink's, but they're still white. So we'll go in with the white. She's a little paler, so all of her features are a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to highlight with practically with white. She's a little ice princess, so there's that. And she has the same little mouth. They're twins, so that's kind of cute. Obviously not identical. Nope. Fraternal. Is there only like two fairies or is there like a whole bunch of fairies? I think there's a whole bunch of fairies. Huh, so they're, they're probably gonna have like a whole movie. That is a whole movie. No, no, of fairies, of all the new, oh. of all new fairies, you know? Well, I mean, that one has a bunch of fairies in it because it's about the two different fairy worlds. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm a little bit off uh, with <clears throat> her neck and everything. So I'm just going to go in with a darker color of periwinkle blue and black and just kind of outline. This will pop my character out of the nail and also clean up any line that I messed up on. Killing two birds with one stone. Okay, so, you know, I they, they have teeth and all this stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I'll do it. But um, her... her uh, eyes are ice, ice blue. So we are going to have them looking this way at her sister. And then her little teeth go on the top here. And I think I can do a little bit better about the hair. The hair is Definitely part in the center. So let me go back over. And and it was parted on the side. Huh? I thought it was parted on the side. Nope, it's dead center. Maybe it's just because the way she's holding her head. <laughs> From my view. She's got her hair. She, oh. <laughs> she almost has a bridezilla hairdo. That's what I learned in Fit Las Vegas when I went there. Uh -huh. What bridezilla is. I had no idea. You're making me feel guilty. Why? I don't think I have a tink on film, do I? I, I Maybe think. a few, I don't know. Uh, 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 I am going to give her some lips, so I need red. I need to get red out. Oh, I love Verga. What the heck? Okay. Highlights. Much easier to do this hair than the other girls because she's also in color. Okay, now I'm going to go in with um, the, the fairy wings. So here we go. I am just going to lightly, lightly sketch these out. These are very, very integral to the movie. So I am going just to sketch them. See? Just kind of just. 
<clears throat> and then on this one, All right, now I'm going to carry this fairy wing up into this one right here. That's my freezer for anybody who's new. He likes to talk to us. Yeah, it's a bird in the freezer. <clears throat> glue, foil glue right here. And I think I'm just going to use the regular foil glue, the Dollar Nail Art foil glue right now because um, I'm going to be using a iridescent foil and the iridescent foil doesn't need a hardcore glue so I'll let that dry how you know your glue is dry is it will dry clear right now it's a milky white color but it will dry and it'll be all nice and clear Try to get in the lines as much as possible, and I will meet you back. All right, so now I found the right color. I'm just going to go through the bottom of these things with a little tiny bit of like swirling filigree to make them look kind of magical without having to like. I don't want to overwork you guys to where this design is way over the top hard. So I'm just going in with these, and then I'm going to go over the top of that with a little bit of white dots here and there as if there's fairy dust everywhere. But when I top coat these two colors together they almost blend almost into one color. It's not going to be something that's really stark. So I hope you can see that. See? It's just something that just makes it, that keeps your eye focused right onto Tinkerbell instead of the other nails. Now that the glue is dried, I'm going to go ahead and take some uh, opal foil and go right over her wings like that. Boom! Beautiful. There's that. And that. Okay. Meet you back. Okay, and here is the finished product of um, Tinkerbell and her sister Periwinkle. So let me tell you what I did. Okay, lastly, I put in little tiny, little tiny dots of white and silver polish. The white was paint, and the and the silver was polished, and I just kind of dabbed around to give it the fairy dust effect. And I want to show you guys what it looked like. Um, I would. I don't want this tutorial to take forever you know so I just did the best I could do so anyways I hope you guys liked it I upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday so if you try these show me at Robin Moses nail art at Facebook I think I'm gonna put warmer top coat on these because they're a little bit not as shiny as I want them but I didn't want them so shiny you can't see the details of these girls because they're really cute and <laughs> right when you <laughs> use your fingers to start moving right when I said that. <laughs> Anyways, I, got, I hope you guys have a great night, and thank you so much for watching. Please pass these to everybody who's a Disney fan. Bye. Bye.